It has been weeks since I have drafted on Arena on my own account. And uh, yeah, the season reset in that period of time. We ended up in um, diamond something. So we're starting out in gold something because the season reset 10 days ago and I definitely haven't played since. So let's jump into an OTJ draft and see if I can remember how to draft this for it since, you know, my whole entire brain has been so focused on uh, Modern Horizons 3 that... I'm kind of forgetting what I usually do for this format, but uh, I'm sure we'll figure it out when we jump in. Okay, I mean, comes back pretty quick. Bonnie Paul is here, and uh, yeah, you take that one, right? Best creature in the format, or one of them. Uh, hands down, just an absolute bomb. Shepherd of the Clouds is really great. Uh, I don't know if we're Lucky Gem or Mourner's Surprise will wheel. Um, there's a derailment here, a land. Uh, not that exciting of a pack except for the Bonnie Paul. So, we'll be taking Bonnie Paul here. Into Fractured Identity. That's pretty bonkers, too. Hmm. I mean, it's either lassoed by the law or fractured identity. And both bring us into white. You know, it's not like, oh, we're already playing blue, so, you know, lasso's easier or something. No, I mean, either way, we have to bring white into our deck. And uh, I think fractured identity is worth it. We can do some bant. Consuming Ashes is good too, but not as good as Fractured Identity, so I'm going to take Fractured Identity here. Okay, choices. Tether or Outcaster. I think Tether's just better. A lot of Pixies. Yeah, Tether's good. Hmm. I don't think I want Mind Break Trap, like, ever. Unless I'm just taking from my collection. It's definitely not the right take. Um, raid or... Explosive Derailment are probably the two best cards. Raid keeps us in white, allows us to destroy enchantments, which is relevant as, you know, I expect Bonnie Paul to be under a tether itself at some point. Uh, or we could just take the land. Like, I have no problem taking the desert here. It's a green desert. Why not? I like to go five color in this format anyway. So... <laughs> Deserts are high pickups for me. Kervek. Kervek is still in the pack, but there's also just a Paladin here. Stick Paladin. Okay. Close pick. I think you could make an argument for Holy Cow or for the Entertainer. Or even Eartha Joe. I think I like Entertainer a bit more since we don't have a two drop. But Holy Cow is also just really good. Field Fording is also decent. But I'm going to take the Entertainer. Bunch of nothing. Uh... Just land here. It's the best. Yeah, I'm going to take the land. Specifically the desert over the non-desert there. Hmm. Don't think I want Crom or Lasso. Tornado, Bighorn. Phantom Interference or Gigapede. 
think Gigapede's the strongest card of all of them. It's like Gigapede. It was Lake Karavik, and maybe it means black's more open, so I feel like it's an okay pick to just see where it goes. I'm not like married to the Gigapede. We have Gem here on the wheel, which is great. I mean, we're already playing Fractured Identity for sure, so. Four mana, three, three flyer that can draw you cards is good. Ooh, Key Keeper. I think I want Key Keeper over Biter. Rampage is okay in a deck like this. Also, Take the Fall is not bad. Take a Rampage in case. I'm not going to play any of these, but I guess Phantom Interference is safer to have. Got a deputy anyway. Okay. Open to Karavik. <laughs> There's a sure shot here. It's also a repulse. Mm, sure shot's too good though. Do need more fixing, but I'm going to take the sure shot. Hmm. Well, Savage Smash is the safest take now that we took Sure Shot, but Marchesa. Hear me out. Marchesa is double off. But she's really good. We already have a Key Keeper. That's a repeatable crime. Yeah, let's get Marchesa in here. Bandit, good. Passing some other good stuff. Map the Frontier wheels often, and if it does, I will take it. I'm taking Bandit now, though. Don't need to play Gigapede, but yeah. Three or four more fixers, and is extremely playable. There's another fixer, Dance of the Tumbleweeds. One of the best fixing cards in green, for sure. I'm gonna take that. We already have two, three red sources. Um, three black sources, technically. I'm assuming blue's going to be a base, so... Yeah, I mean, Marchese is already looking somewhat splashable. Would like to have a few more fixers, though. But I think she's worth... I'm not scared. I'm going to take a land here. Um, I'm just debating whether I want the Mesa, which I can pick the color, or I want this black green land. I think I want to pick a color, considering what I already have. I think that has more value to me than a duel that pings. Cactarantula is real good here. Let's take it. It's a five drop. Buried in the garden. Ugh. We have to say goodbye to a Revival and an Arnix, but I think that's just how it's going to be. Buried in the Garden's just too good. Yep. It's definitely enough fixing to play Marchesa. A little bit more would make me more comfortable, but... As is, she's still in, for sure. This Phantom Interference probably isn't necessary anymore. Yeah. Wow. Double Paladin Pack. <laughs> I'll take one. This is tough. Ankle Biter or Take Up the Shield? I guess we'll have big things. Taking up the shield and gaining life is not irrelevant. Yeah, let's do it. Perfect land wield. Another key keeper. It's really nice.
going to take the naturalist over the gold pan. I think you could make an argument for either, though, but I don't think I want to play either, is the other thing. Commando is sort of playable. It's a 3-3 three, three for 3. We are missing some 3 drops. Okay. <laughs> what a pack. Bandit or Bill. I think I need to take Bill over Bandit, but I am very sad about passing Bandit and Tether. Ah, oh, that hurts. I mean, you can't complain it's a Bill, though. Bristly Bill is outrageous as a two-drop. Yeah. And we already have Entertainer to go with it, too. Hmm. Paladin, Griff, or Bandit. It's also Duelist of the Mind. It's not bad either. I think I want the Bandit, though. Yeah, our stuff is good enough. I want Bandit here. Another Dance of the Tumbleweeds. Sorry, Repulse. Sorry, Key Keeper. Wow, what a pack. All right. All right. I am going to take this Badlands Revival over this Conduit Pylons. Um, the card quality we have is just so high that this card is kind of bonkers good. We can't get back any of our sorceries. Like, a lock picker would be insane, but it's still good enough getting back, like, Bonnie Paul and a Paladin or something like that. Gardener for more ramp. Probably. Deck looks solid. Green, white, splashing, blue, splashing, red, splashing, black. Triple off splash from Archesa. <laughs> no big deal. Our, our fixing's good. Like, I'm not worried about that, but it is a triple off splash as it stands. Hmm. Ooh, another bandit. Pick six, let's go. It's actually a really good pickup. This deck's kind of incredible. <laughs> uh, like I would run one more removal spell if I got it, but I don't even know if I need it. Like it's just it's just a good deck. All right, kind of want that land and the gardener, but I think I need to take this map, the frontier. Intimidation campaign as well. <laughs> uh, that's not out of the question. It's a lot of card draw. It's also just a pillage the bog. Like, it's kind of crazy. I don't even know if this can fit in my deck is the crazy part. Pick nine, bandit, wield. Okay. Cow or varmint. Repulse coming around too. Okay. Man, I, I just don't know. So many good cards. Uh, let's sort this out. Um, three bandits, a gardener. Double dance of the tumbleweeds. It's kind of nuts. We can play any card we want. I mean, fixing is not the issue here. Just finding the best collection of cards. I think Marchesa is going to draw us enough cards that we probably don't need the campaign as well as her. But I think she's better than campaign and worth the triple off splash. 
if we're trying to do campaign over and over and over again. Like, our deck has expensive spells, so I don't want to be sinking three into this every turn. So. Just gotta find a few more cuts. I think gem's worth it. Maybe we don't need both paladins. Don't need take the fall or this raven. Maybe we have enough ramp without the gardener as well. I don't know if I need my commando either. The thing about it is it can come in with some counters for bristly bill. I don't think it's worth. Hmm, no, I'd rather have Gardener instead of Holy Cow, probably. I just want to get up to my expensive spells and slam them down as early as possible. So I think bringing in Gardener over Holy Cow is probably better. Then what am I cutting? I guess it has to be the commando, even though it has some nice synergy with Bill. Hmm. Seven, eight, nine. Seventeen lands over here. Even though we have ramp, I don't think I'm supposed to cut to sixteen. I could, though. With three bandits cut to 16. We could leave it 17 with 41. Cutting paladin and cow, bringing back in the gardener. It's not bad. Could also cut the entertainer. I think I'm supposed to cut a paladin though. Hmm. Yeah. All right, let's fix our lands. Because this is all wrong. Need a lot more green. Need more white as well. Don't need a mountain or a swamp, I don't think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six, eight. That can't be right. It's too much blue. Hmm. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight sources of any color. <laughs> as long as we have one in our deck. Nine, actually, including, you know, the land itself. That's nuts. I think as long as we have green, we're going to get all our colors. So we can run it like this. Seventeen lands. Nine green sources. And then that can just go get everything else. Let's go. Back in OTJ, running my five color nonsense. Love it. Well, 
This looks good. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, good cards in hand. Don't remove my gardener, please. The Earth of Joe. Go ahead and bury it in the garden here. Um, let's get rid of the dog. I guess that was the wrong choice. Should have gotten rid of the sheriff. Then they'd have to block with dog and Joe. Hmm. Oh well, this is still fine. At least now we can like fractured identity Earth of Joe if we want. Which means we need to kill the sheriff here. It's fine. sauce. Uh, I'm gonna miss the trigger on the Bonnie Paul and just go ahead and attack with Cactarantula first. Okay. Uh, well. I guess Bonnie Paul it is. I can't think of anything they could have that makes this not a good play. They would have killed the 7-6 if they had a Fierce Retribution. It's fine. I see. Uh, that's still fine. I mean, Bonnie Paul next turn is basically the same difference for two mana, right? Still get the attack trigger on the Cactarantula. Can still hold him in Repulse to protect Bonnie Paul. Yeah, they're off it. Alright. GG. Let's tighten up just a touch. Definitely been playing distracted lately, so I would like to try and get my focus back and start playing cleaner. What a hand. <laughs> okay. I'll keep. <laughs> uh, who made this amazing deck? I'm gonna lead on Bandit.
I'd love to draw land. No blocks. Perfect. Well, an untapped land would have been better, but this is still okay. Um, I guess I should name red. Some temptation to name blue, though. Let's go here. No attacks. That's fine. Hmm. Okay. Well, we need to ramp, so if we play Dance of the Tumbleweeds, Fetch a Land, we can also play our Bandit, and then we'll have Bonnie Paul next turn. Seems okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright. I mean, we're taking damage. But Bonnie's pretty big. can attack with any creature, get to draw the card, then I can put a land onto the battlefield. I have none in my grave though. It's good. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess Sure Shot online is fine. And then I'll attack with Bo, the ox cow thingy. I could do this. Nah. Giving trample seems okay. I could attack him with a bandit, but I think I'm Happy enough just attacking him with a 5-5. Five five. Oh good. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be attacking him with Bonnie. But this is a trade I'm willing to make. Perfect. I guess I should deny them the card draw for one extra turn. Just take the uh, Entertainer. Yeah, let's do that. is fine.
Man. I wish I had enchantment removal at the moment. <laughs> it's a good draw though. Let's go with this. Fine. Play out our key keeper. Now we should be winning. That's fine too. Tap that down. Okay. Actually, I should play out my land first. I guess I should do this. Remember, this will have haste as well, and trample. I'm gonna leave my sure shot back, even though it's a safe attack here. Um, just make sure I have blocking threats. It's good. Coffee the eight eight. Yeah. Sixteen. Let's go. Good game. It's fine. I want a blue source, obviously, but it's fine. We only have like a million cards that fix when we have green. I think there's nine in the deck, so how hard can this be? Clearly more difficult than anticipated. Um, yeah, I think running out Key Keeper is good here. Just as a blocker. Although I'm not sure I'm going to block with it. But being able to tap down next turn is probably worth it. We'll see what they do. Well, no, I'm definitely blocking if they attack. Tapped out. Oh, that's fine. Okay, Bill's okay. Let's do Bill into land. It can't hit me for a lot here. I mean, I'm obviously not going to block with Bill. Um, but I am going to pump up my Bill. 
They have a throw from the saddle. They have a throw from the saddle. They plotted. Okay. It's a blue source. All right. Um, well, in that case, let's make Bill into a 4 4. And I think we should hold open tap down plus take up the shield here. I think we can really get them. I think that's better than playing out a 3 3 flyer and taking a bunch of damage. I like that. It's fine. Another plot. Okay. Well, that's a card. The Dust Animus is on plot. <laughs> Okay. Running it out. Here we go. So I want to have them attack thinking it's safe and lure out a trick. I mean, this way they don't draw a card, they don't gain life. They'll probably attack him with the Tone Poke and I can get rid of it now before it becomes a huge problem. Is the uh, thought process here. So let's go for it. Very nice. All right. Well, now I'm feeling pretty unbeatable. Let's go on Bill still. It's Cactarantula. Bill can attack in. Could I'll just plot the bandit and hold open the tap down. I don't think that's right though. Let's attack in first. It's fine. Yeah. Cactarantula is probably best. There aren't too many things that Cactarantula won't solve here. They can get their 4 or 5 though. Lifelink flyer out, and that's a little annoying, but. Oh, they're not doing that. Interesting. Okay. We put a counter on Bill. It's five counters. It could be a 12 12. Or I can put a counter on Cactarantula. But then Bill would only be a 10 10, which is still big enough. So let's do Cactarantula here. And then can I? Yeah, I think I can attack him with both. Okay, they're off it. Anyway, Bristly Bill, everybody. <laughs> Again, it's, you know, new season reset. I haven't played since the season reset. Obviously, it's a bit softer competition, but um, yeah. Normally one draft and I'm out of the gold reset area from the previous season. So we'll just have to bear with me. So far, deck's still fun rocking it. I think we'd be winning in no matter what ranking. Deck's just good. All right. Bendemir. Good. Perfect. <laughs> Bandit off the top is pretty amazing here. The duelist. Alright. Let's go Bandit. Let's 
several options next turn. Assuming they don't kill our bandit. They probably will though, they're playing black and red. My guess is they're thinking so long about whether they want to kill my ramp or whatever I put down after the ramp. Yeah. I agree with that choice, get rid of the bandit. Drew land, that's good. Uh, unfortunately for them, I do have a gardener to follow up, so... Still gonna get my ramp in fixing. Ooh, sharpshooter, alright. Uh, I'm thinking they're playing a cool ultimatum deck over there. I'm gonna lead on gem. So we can plot our paladin next turn. Draw a card with gem. That seems good. We are gonna take like three damage from the sharpshooter attacking in, but I don't think that's a problem. Or not. Okay, shoot the sheriff. Alright, um... Okay, it's a draw. Guess I'm gonna do that. Get a little bit of value off of it. Uh, I'm not gonna tether their 3-3. Three, three. Just feel like I can do better than that. They're playing very scary colors. They could have um, Laughing Jasper, all sorts of things that I need to be able to reach out and get because they're not gonna block with it. Past. I'm not gonna plot this. They could have a counter here. That's fine. Okay. I was expecting worse than that. That was okay. That's fine too. Ooh, I would take the tether. They took the bandit. Huh. That's really interesting. I'm taking four here. Why would they not take my tether? They might have like a repulse. I'm gonna attack. Let's make it if they target the Cactarantula. I get to draw a card. I think they must have some sort of bounce or removal. Okay. Wow. Don't mill your opponent. But there goes a red source. We got lots of other fixing, but that's our red land in the grave. <laughs> okay. This can be done. Yeah, flash on my turn for two more. I don't really have a good block. Uh, if they have counter magic, they get me good. I mean, might as well. I don't think there's a good block they can put up here. Fine. Um, I guess I want to trample over the duelist instead of the sharpshooter in case there's like take the fall. Let's go like this. Also, just accept the trades. Nah, let's go for it. I'm gonna tether the sharpshooter. Ooh. 
resolves. That's good. Okay. Feeling decent. We're gonna get cruel to made him. <laughs> oh good, they didn't cast it. Uh, I don't have my red source. Oh yes I do. I can get Mirage Mesa. We're okay. Question is, do I get second island or first swamp? I guess I should get swamp. Although second island's Bonnie, but yeah, let's get black first. Since I only have one black source and I have a lot more blue sources to draw into. Man, I wish it gave itself haste. Okay, that does keep them alive, technically. <sighs> punished! I still think it was right getting black, but yeah, punished. Bonnie here would be insta win. It's okay. GG. Four now. That looks good. Lead on tap land. Taking three here. Okay. Right. That tells me they do not have a combat trick in their hand. Otherwise, they would have tried to swing out and get me to block. Um, that's good news for us. So the real question is, what do we want to do with the turn? Value from Bill plus Gardener. Or we can just slam a Cactarantula. Thinking. Um, I mean, they're both good. Just which play is best. I guess I should play it slower and do Bill plus Land plus Gardener. Lead on Cactarantula and then land. Um, some point we're going to need to attack in. Yeah, 
are working on lands. Okay, this is good. Um, let's do this. Food counter here. Fine, we can pay. Let's go with the Mesa. Naming blue. Put a counter here. Let's just go with one for now. It's going to be an atrocious trade. They can give the Tycoon indestructible. They can make their town folk into a 4-4, but then that's gone. And then next turn we have more trample coming at them. So um, if they want to make this play, they can. They have take up the shield as well as this. It's really bad, but hopefully we'll at least get the town folk. Looks like we are. I guess they wouldn't be able to do both because you have to pay two for the tycoon. I forgot about that. We're all good. <laughs> um, man, we are real close to winning next turn, aren't we? They plotted. Stitcher. Yeah, I think, uh, I think we're great. Do this. Let's put the counter here. Uh, we don't have enough green to activate Bill as well, but I don't think that matters. Um, we have to chump. Oh gosh. Yeah, like that's 16, they're tapped out. This is lethal. Let's go. Giddy up. <laughs> GG. What a beating. So much ramp, so much land. All right. Five and O. Oh. This is fine. I am going to name Forest here. And that's super awkward, but it is what it is. I need to be able to cast my bandit on turn two. Even more awkward. Okay. Well, it's fine. We have lots of fixing in the deck, so I'm not worried, but yeah. Mesa having to name green was unfortunate. It's annoying. Alright, let's go Bill. Uh, give Bill the counter. Entertainer. It's fine. Um, I'll, I'll blow.
block. They could have snakeskin veil. I'll block. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Um, I'm gonna repulse that and uh, draw a card. I think. I don't want to take three. It's awkward. It's legit awkward. Okay. Well. I think I need to tether. I mean, it wastes my turn, but it also will waste their turn. They'll have to varmint to kill it. And in the meantime, I get in for one. It's, it's weak. I could have played my bandit and then ensured Bonnie next turn if they didn't do anything, but... I have to assume they have big creatures in their deck. If they're playing the sure shot. Yeah. fine. Okay. Land. Off the top. Works. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do this instead of Bandit. I don't need to get double blue here. Obviously it's risky if I don't, but I don't need to. I can get one blue. And either red or black if I want. Let's get black. Now I can play out my other bandit. It should be pretty safe. Doubt they'll both die. They're playing colors too. <laughs> That's fine. All right. Uh, yeah, Bonnie is just too good not to do. And I will attack in to get the trigger. Okay. Hey, two's fine. It's good too. Um I don't think we need to fracture identity there, sure shot yet. Considering that we have our own, we can just do sure shot into bandit. Um, let's just attack first, see what we get. Is land good? That's fine. Let's go. Um, I don't... I don't think there's a board wipe. I guess there's overwhelming forces, but they're pretty far from it. Fine. 
perfect. Okay, so we're gonna fracture identity there, sure shot. Um, and then everything will have trample. It should be lethal. GG. All right, the big six no. This deck is insane. <laughs> Uh, jumping straight back into my five color nonsense, just the way I like it. And it's not nonsense, that's the thing of it. It's not nonsense, it's just good. It's just flat out good. Then we have Modern Horizons 3 coming up, so... Probably switch over to drafting that, but... I don't know, I still love Outlaws of Thunder Junction. This is good. <laughs> Again, what genius drafted this deck with so many bandits? It's unbeatable. Running out the extruder. Huh. Didn't want to save that to kill a bandit. Interesting. Uh, this card can be terrifying. If they have like ways to make a bunch of treasures, it, it can really uh, explode. Let's lead on Bill, though. They have removal... And we're kind of blown up, but we do have the revival. I'm not too worried. Tower spell here would stink. Good. Um. Yeah, I'm. I'm cool with ramping more instead of doing one damage. I think I can get behind that. annoying but okay <laughs> all right we'll march asa <laughs> uh key keeper with it's absolutely busted let's go and they played a pyromancers and that's it well bad news um I can basically do this for free and draw an extra card every turn after selecting from two, so... Pretty sure if they can't disrupt this, it's a GG. Yeah, I'll take a bandit. Um, let's go ahead and just slam Paladin first, though. The cool thing we can do with the bandit is we can have the bandit copy Bill and then put Bill in the grave for Badlands Revival. Um, if it comes to it, but I mean, our board looks pretty great, as is. Could be right to instead just bandit the paladin and put pressure on, but prickly pear, right? Okay, that's fine. Um, do we want to do this? I think I'm okay. Well, I guess we should draw our card first and see what we hit, and then make a choice. Because like I said, it could just be right to push pressure and copy the Paladin and just go. So let's see what we get. Tumbleweeds is good. We could also have done Repulse for Bill, but I think Dance of the Tumbleweeds is too good for our deck. Yeah. That's a copy. Okay, they're off it. I was about to say, let's copy Bill. Um, ping them for one with the desert. Trigger Marchesa, draw an extra card. But no need. It's the perfect five color, 7 0. Let's go. Welcome back to OTJ in style. Boom. Um, what a cool deck. Just a cool deck. Uh, 
anyway, I'll be playing Modern Horizons 3 later this week, so uh, look for that video later. But for now, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. I'll see you uh, next time.